Hi everybody, it's Terry, your favorite pamper chef, and I'm back in my apron, which means we're going to start cooking. So I'm going to show you one of the easiest and quickest dinners that I know of, especially when you use your quick cooker to do the pasta, because in the quick cooker, it takes approximately one minute, maybe two, if you've got a larger amount. So what we're going to do is we're going to do penne with peppers tonight. So I'm going to show you using my rapid prep mandolin to slice up the peppers and slice up the onion and the sausage and we're going to stir fry it over in my stainless steel wok. So I have my cutting board and the reason I like using this wooden cutting board is because it keeps my excellent knives ever so much sharper. So you can see how easily this is going through. And what I want to do is I'm just going to cut the onion in half and peel off the skin. Okay. Now I'm going to set up the rapid prep mandolin. I simply have to pull the bottom open. I'm going to check on the back that I'm doing a simple slice. And I'm going to set it to the appropriate thickness, which I think for this one is going to be about um, two for the onions and maybe three for the peppers. Okay, I'm going to slide this over top of the container. I'm going to attach the feed chute. And this is the part that forever gets me mixed up. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, so I'm going to put the onion in. And I'm just going to push down, release, lift up the handle. And there's the first batch of sliced onion. Second batch coming through. Now, how hard was that? Not hard at all. Got one little piece in there that's sticking. So I'm going to put another couple of pieces back in. This is also how you dice onions if you want. You just put them all back in, push down on the feed chute, and out they all come. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to prep up the pepper. So I'm just going to move this out of my way, cut it straight down the center in half, and be careful of these knives. They are incredibly sharp. They will cut through anything including fingers. So just make sure that your fingers are out of the way. You'll want the peppers in quarters for this one. Now just take all the seeds out. These, these are not hot peppers. We'll get to that part later. Again, quarters. Tap to get the seeds out. And I'm going to set the dial up to three for these. I want them a little bit thicker. I like them thick because my other half does not like peppers. I love peppers. So he and I have a little bit of a disagreement as to whether they go in cooking. So our compromise is that I leave them big and fat so that he can pick them out. So we're just going to feed them right in. Slice them down. I know a lot of people don't suggest using the onions in the mandolin, and I don't understand why, because I'm figuring if you can save yourself all those tears from cutting them with the mandolin, then why would you not do it? You can always use the little tool to pick it out. So now I'm going to turn you around this way. And we're ready to start going. Hmm, there we are. I hope you can see everything. So I've got some oil preheating. In my skillet, you don't want to turn these any more than about half heat. The reason being, these hold the heat so much more effectively than any other pan, you'll actually burn food quick quicker in the stainless steel wok than you would in any other pan. 
So I've got a little bit of olive oil in there. Yeah, it's nonstick, but you're using the olive oil to flavor the food as much as anything else. So in it goes. I don't know if you can see that or not. So we're just going to let those saute while we go back over here and we're going to cut our sausages. Now I pre-cooked the sausages in the quick cooker. Again, convenience. It took me about um, 15 minutes in the quick cooker to cook them from frozen. I like to pre-cook them because especially with pork sausage you want to know that they're cooked in the center. So all you have to do, and I've got my utility knife, you just have to cut the slices. So you have to cut through just like butter. So we're going to cut all four of these sausages. They're firm enough I probably could cook them or cut them with the mandolin but the grease is a little bit harder to get out. I have done pepperoni, and it will do it. As I say, it's just it's a little bit more of a cleanup than I'm inclined to, but I love these knives anyhow. They are sharp, sharp enough to cut your fingers, as I found out many a time. They will work perfectly against the wooden cutting board. Again, you want the wood as opposed to the plastic because it will dull the knives far slower. They'll stay sharp much longer. And I do want to point out that these knives are fully forged high carbon steel, so they are comparable to any of the Henkel line or any other high quality German line you can think of. These are manufactured in Germany. They do have a lifetime warranty. I can guarantee that for a fact because I had a gal who had a party. She lives up in Nunavut, and all of you know that I worked up in Nunavut for a while. If you didn't, you know now. Anyhow, her hubby had uh, gone out and uh, hunted caribou, and he was cleaning out the skull <laughs> using the end of the knife to try and hack into the skull, and uh, the tip came off the end of the blade. So she phoned up <laughs> the Pamper Chef office, and said, um, <laughs> um, can I get this replaced? Because here's what happened. And they replaced it. No questions asked. Just, yeah, like the end broke off. They shouldn't do that. And no questions asked. As a matter of fact, my uh, quick cooker stopped coming to full, <clears throat> full steam. I phoned them up. I said, hey, I've got a little bit of an issue here. He listened. I said, I've done the one cup water test, which it says in the use and care. I have... Uh, check to make sure that the seal is on correctly and that it's not damaged in any way. And uh, he said, oh, obviously there's a problem with it. We'll send a brand new one out to you, no charge. Uh, we'll have it shipped out tomorrow. We'll send you a printable label, no charge for shipping, just to send the old one back to us so that we can see what's going on with it. So there you go. You can't beat that with Pampered Chef. So I'm going to leave these here. We're going to go back and check on our peppers and onions. Let's see if I can make sure I can tip that up properly. Now all I'm going to do once these are done is I'm going to throw in the sausage bits. So I'm going to bring over my cutting board. I'm just going to slide the sausage right off the cutting board. And I'm going to take the rest of it and just put it out into the garbage. And our seasoning. There's only a couple of things that go into this for seasoning. So for seasoning, you're going to use a little bit of salt and pepper to taste. You're going to use some garlic. Now, if you have the Pampered Chef garlic slicer or the Pampered Chef um, garlic press, you can use that. I'm a little bit lazier, so I tend to use the bottled one. It's a tiny bit milder in flavor, so I use 
a very large spoonful of it. And I mean by very large, like you can, you can taste the garlic when I put that in. You don't want to put it in right at the start because you will get a burnt taste from the garlic if it's in too soon. So we're just going to stir fry this until everything is up to a nice sear. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to put in some parsley. You can use fresh or you can use dried. It doesn't do too much for the flavor, but it gives it a nice seasoned look. And our last thing that you want to do sparingly is you're going to add some crushed red pepper flakes. This will give the dish, you're going to want to use maybe half a teaspoon tops. It gives it just a little bit of a, a zing to the, to the dinner without a huge bite. Now, while we're on that subject, I want to talk to you about the difference between the garlic slicer and the garlic press. If you use the Pampered Chef garlic slicer to cut the slices, you're going to get a much bigger garlic bite in your dish because you're going to have the pieces. When you bite into them, pow, garlic. If you use the minced garlic, you're going to get a much milder flavor all through the dish, so at no point when you take a, a, a mouthful are you going to get like a, wow, that's garlic. You're just going to have that nice garlic infusion all through the dinner. So we're going to stir that. Because the sausages are cooked, all we want to do is bring them up to flavor, or up to, up to temperature. <laughs> They're already up to flavor. I've got some pasta here. I had to cook it by hand tonight. Oh my gosh, because my Pampered Chef Quick Cooker is back getting replaced. Free of charge. Free delivery. <laughs> and we're just going to mix that right in. Now you can see why I've chosen the wok. Because all of that is now in here. And the nice high sides keep it all from sliding over. So you're just going to stir that back and forth. We're going to incorporate those nice onions and peppers and sausage all the way through. We're going to warm up the pasta as it's going. So this has taken what, about 10 minutes so far? Oh no, five minutes and 36 seconds. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> And that's all it takes. Dinner will be ready in about five more minutes as soon as the rest of the pasta has warmed up. I already have my vegetables out in that little square cool and surf that I showed you guys yesterday. We still have our last little bits of um, dip in there and we've got some carrot and celery and cucumber and tomatoes. And I'm going shopping tomorrow to get some more vegetables. So there you go dinner in a minute, easy as you please, using our non-stick stainless steel wok, which is one of my absolute favorite pieces that I own, pasta from the quick cooker, if you have it, using my wooden cutting board and my gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous forge cutlery knife block set, which I won or earned as a fast track rewards being a consultant, and you can earn them too, just ask me how. So enjoy your dinner. I know Doug and I are going to enjoy ours. It's going to be awesome and it can be yours too. Follow the recipe. Follow me on my business page. Follow me on my VIP page. And what's the party this month? You cannot lose. Air fryer, deluxe electric grill, quick cooker, any one of them on sale. Stoneware, uh, sorry, the quick cooker you can get as a consultant if you start this month. You can also get the air fryer package if you start this month. You can also get the Deluxe Electric Grill if you start this month. No better time at all to start or to host. Talk to me. Have a good night.